Never talked about myself a while. Never told me. I'm thinking back now. I remember one time as a Reb, any anything he did, any atzlach, nothing. He never talked about himself. <coughs> told my aide and letters. He asked if he files taxes. So he said, I don't really have much money to give taxes on. I said, I see, come on. He was doing uh, Baruch Hashem Glatzis, he was very much in the music world. What he was doing was doing three jobs a week for Cholapachas. And he took Baruch, $2,000 a job. <coughs> he was making at least $6,000 a week on average. So he didn't have any money to give. So he said, what do you mean? I take a fifth for myself, what I make, and I give four fifths to Stalker. So I'm not really left with much money. So what's good with I was looking him lately, a while back. He still had a, a, an easy pass on my account when he started driving years ago. I thought, that's it, you're richer than I am, and you're driving all over the world. <coughs> and he fought in the 5,000 in the Queens and in the country, and he didn't have it. I told them, Bill said, maybe it's about time you switch. This mom was a few weeks for a strong. He told me, ah, I'll switch, uh, switch to my account soon. And I'll also be on it. He didn't tell me, he didn't think of telling me, do you think I'm so rich? There's in the He didn't mention a word. In the Kemos Gazok, I never had any remus, any hint to the fact that it gets right to the Gazok. A few weeks, about two weeks before Shoshana, I told him that uh, I want to send a check to his yeshiva. It's by <coughs> the Kohn's yeshiva in Lakewood, in Osakiwa. And I want to send a check to the yeshiva. I asked him uh, exactly how you write it out. It's a congregation, a yeshiva. <coughs> so he asked me, what's up? He said, I get checked out. I said, it's a fire the room. It's not like I give them so much money over the years. I wasn't paying full tuition. I said, yes, I'll have a little girl. So I want to sell a check. He didn't tell me anything. After the Petira, this was Shibam, a Tully Kong came in. He said, you should know, for the last couple of years, at the end of every month, he gave me his credit card. And he told me I should pay the Shibam's bills with his credit card. He paid the gas, the electric, the water bills. He said, I didn't even know how much I was paying. I thought it was $100. I look over the bills. He brought me the statements. He dug up the bank statements. He brought me to the shiva, the bank statements. He started going through the statements, showed $500, $600, $450. And for years, he said, he's paying the shiva's bills. So both gemeint that if I was clogging like then that I haven't given so much money to shiva lessons. So he would have told me, ah, but I can just say, good. I says, I feel I'm giving him, don't worry. He didn't say a word. He didn't want me to think, I feel I was feeling bad that I was paying, that I wasn't giving money. And this gemeint can vort that don't worry, I'm giving him money for years. It's going on for years already. He's paying the cheapest bills. No, <clears throat> it's How many Bochum he kept up with? Bochum was struggling. There's a mindset going around. Bochum has to struggle. He won't learn to close the Shiva. And Nebuch afterwards, he's glitched the trays and Hansen. That's a rough one. And Bochum Nebuch pierced the ears with earrings. Nebuch and Hansen. Calling a man, Matzah Shabbos, he heard the Psura. His mom was crying, Bechias. He said, I want to do something for Shush for Chaynsvi. So the man tells him, you know, you know what you want from you. <coughs> he says, I'm ready to change for Shush. <coughs> so where should I start? I, I can't do everything. It gets fry. So what should I do? So he told him, I'll call you back. And he ran, he ran to Tzadok with uh, somebody he asked Shailas to. So he went to Yeshiva, Rabbi Nadov, my son used to ask Shailas to, Rabbi, and I look, all the Shailas is there. So he said, you want to ask him, what do you hold that you tell him? He said, tell him you want to learn a mission a day over the phone. This book is in Eretz Yisrael now. He said, you make up a time that stems for you and for him. It's 9.30 in the morning here, it's 4.30 there. Every day you learn five minutes on the phone, learn a mission. I got to ask him when he came into the Mahamavel. I asked him, why point did you think of that? Why don't you tell him he's put on film? So he said he has experience. He says he's done it before. It's a much beer. So then once they were talking, so he said, why well, would just keep it just between us? Let's start posting it every day and we'll put it on uh, status or WhatsApp. I don't know if I'm just going to speak for these I don't know exactly what they are, but it's going to post it every day. <coughs> And they're going to have people sign up to learn a Mishnah day. They put the Mishnah with the, the tights from Ansgo. This is Rabbi Nadov, tights is the, the Mishnah. They have a voice of recording. <coughs> and that people, so this was a, a few days after Leviah. They had 320 people signed up to learn a Mishnah day. And the Zikaman told me that the pictures show up. And when they sign in, he says there's quite a few of them wearing earrings. 
and the bochum <coughs> that the gans are fry, and they took upon themselves to learn a mishnah. This bochum told the Yaman, he says, the only, the only person that kept up with me always was Heinz Katz. He said, when I was in yeshiva, he was learning by the Kohn's yeshiva, and he came over me every day to see how I was doing. And Cher Meises, his Yaman was, somebody was a shocher, my romance, he has a nephew who was, that's a gemutshet. And uh, he's living in Florida now. Elder Barker, he came, he came in for the Levi. He came to knock him over. And two days later, his uncle came in. He said, you should know, that nephew of mine, you saw. He said, who do you think kept him on track? He said, Heinz kept up with him. The lady in, you know, I live in, in, in Lakewood, in the neighborhood, called my wife during the shiver. And she has two struggling teens. And she told my wife that Heinz left a message Air Rosh Hashanah. First, <coughs> so, <coughs> check up on them. <coughs> on the winter, good year. <coughs> See how they're doing. Say the ring miser. How many it's broken and broken? How many divorced have you? A man came in to be crying with tears. He was so close. He showed me on his phone, showed me pictures of his feet playing piano in his house. And that's my daughter. And after he left, my wife tells me he happens to have a daughter in my school. He's a divorced guy. It's a broken in Gaman. And Chetzi was a Mechazek. And say that how many people he, he, he took care of in the, in, the, in the music world. He was very much like, he never told me. I thought he was still the kid on the block trying to make it. He always complained to me. I don't know, he doesn't have jobs. He had from the from the, from the mention in the in the business as I <coughs> came from the Batlachim and the Mzeh Shaka Rechim with them, and he never told me anything. <coughs> Kenny Rosenberg is the CEO of El Al, went on Monty Dachzach. He once heard him in playing and singing someplace. It was a Gansa Fakoyzer, and he started taking for all the Sumchis, for all his company corporate events. He never mentioned me a word. Not you know, somebody's Trump's lawyer. He tells the belt, you know, I'm, I'm a Trump's lawyer. What can I do? What you made, he would have told me at some point that, uh, you know, I do all the jobs. Never mentioned a word about anything. I heard from a lot of Chaveim. He said that there were at least 100 Chavre who are loosely connected, and singers and keyboard players, for sort and so on. And he said that uh, we're not all Chaveim with each other, but that Chavre was Chavre with everyone. He was the glue that held everyone. He was the Briach HaTichon that kept everyone together. And so the young man was sitting there and he said, you should know, he was the Rosh Hashiva from the Gansa Island. He said he was the mentor. If you had a problem, he was the therapist. If you went to play on a job with him, you stayed up until 4 o'clock in the morning with him and told him your problems. And he was the therapist at the Rosh Hashiva Men. She was a murdika, murdika by Kishwin. He had a gewaltige chush in, in, in Taichik of a mensch. Again, the bottom of the problem. He said, he was the therapist. <clears throat> they were telling me that, that Poshet, this was the week of the Ptira. They were showing me on the phones that Poshet, each one got the messages from each other. The Poshet said, can I come over? I need Chizik. He said, the was crying. And they were all saying that the only person that could have told us to be right is Chayn Sviya. And he said, I gave them the money from Kemal's Geher can vote for them. How many people he kept up with? How many people was Bachazik? How he was Erez the 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 manik for 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 a ganze oilum? How came to get there? The bocher in my shul told me of Ramaisa. He said that he was a mesifter in Likud, and the manal of the mesifter it was before um, Purim cotton. And the man was nervous that Ben would be a bit uh, let loose a little bit from cotton. So he, he promised them if the Ayla behaves and from cotton, then for Rosh Chodesh and he's going to bring, treat them to a singer who comes to Shiva. So it comes before Rosh Chodesh and so he takes $100, he gives it to, to his bar, and he says, This is for the singer. $100. He said, A good singer, my father was taking $2,000. So he started collecting, he said, We collect the fives and tens in Ayla. They made $250 from oil. They had $350. So he says, start calling singers. Can you come down to play in yeshiva? $350. So I was going to laugh to him. He said, for 15 minutes I could come. For 15 minutes I can come 15 minutes. 
He called Chayim Tzvi, and first Chayim Tzvi told him, Mr. I'm booked for three jobs that night. In the afternoon, in the evening, and at night, that person, that Shaykh, had three jobs. Three jobs of about $6,000. The next night, he calls the Bokhah back. He says, you sound like a young Bokhah. You know, is this for the yeshiva? It's for, it's for, it's for, for a Masifta. He said, yeah. You know what? He says, I like to sing for Bokhah. That's my, my heart says Bokhah. And I'll come for an hour. He said, but make sure one thing. Make sure you have a decent keyboard player. Make sure don't get up. Sir. A kid doesn't know what he's doing. Get up. Sir. An adult, someone knows. He was on the phone music, and he was very mocked. But <coughs> kids, uh, the Bokha tells me, they looked around. At the end, they couldn't find anybody. So he said, they brought a ninth grade. Your mom didn't know how to play. He said, that's fine. And then the mitten, the mic, mic died. Now, Egmar uh, on the phone, that the sound system had to be... Uh, I remember he used to go to Cincinnati every year. He used to bring him in every year, so And uh, he said it wasn't, uh, it wasn't the case of Gelter, but he used to like it. The whole community came. It was Avram and Matzah. But he used to call the young man who took care of it to make sure he goes to the right music store to get the right sound system. Which be. He comes in, there's no mic. The walker didn't know what he's doing. He stayed for four hours instead of one hour. When he finished, so he starts telling me the Bokhah, and this, this Bokhah, my shul, starts rechim, he's telling me how he explained to the Tom, you played so well. He starts rechim, nice. I like the way you did this note here, and the chords here, you did nice. The harmony of this one goes to a whole set of zachim. I was in Shabbat, he said, the Bokhah, he did not know how to play. And he says, he's going through a whole set of zachim. Then he says, do you have a card? Can I have your business card? Maybe I'll call you next time I need someone to play. You have a card, I said, give me your number. He wrote down his number. And maybe next time, if I need someone to play, he goes out to his car, and he comes back, and he's looking around, where's the bacha to play to me? <clears throat> he calls over bacha, he says, how much did they pay you from the yeshiva? He says, they didn't pay me. I'm from the yeshiva, I pay. He took out $100, and he gave the bacha. This bacha, was telling me the mice, went home. He tells his father, his father in that book, it was a mice, somebody by shul was killed in a mice in Atlantic City. It was the father of this bacha. It was Ramesh, uh, Tzadik Ayyid. And the bacha tells his father that Ramesh uh, says, I see cats came and sing. And we paid him three hundred fifty dollars. He gave back a hundred dollars. I know he takes two thousand dollars. I'm sure I feel I'm embarrassed. So father said, I'm gonna pay him the whole thing. So he called my son up. He said, I want to pay you. So he said, Nishno, I'm not taking the penalty for you. He said, Better I should pay you. So for me, the rest I know is the same for Bokh. I really should pay you. He said, I'm not taking the penny. Oh, but Nishno then, he said, the Bokh, after he told me this mice, he went back to Yeshiva. He had told over my son. He came back the second time to Nachamov the second time. And he told me over that when I went back and I told over the my son, he says there was a Bokhim Yeshiva in Hunu Chaisvi. And they all said, big deal. It was, it was like that every day. It was my son Bokhim like that. And the people, I told to tell over the my son again for the other sitting there, but Shiva. And there were a lot of friends of Chaisvi sitting there. And all the Shalka would look up. Big deal. It was, there was no mouth. A man should be able to do that one time. So some mice was passed for social after. Is there any other singer you call him for? He didn't he told me he didn't even ask him how much money he's ready to pay. He said, I'm coming for Bokham. Anybody else, three hundred fifty dollars, they hung up the phone on you. And he came and he asked for one thing, that there could be a decent play, keep up playing. Anybody else would have walked out. He didn't say a word. It's Chai Galsman, the Sablonis, he played with. He stayed there four hours without a mic. He complimented the Bokhar, asked him for his business card, he'll call him for the next time, gave the Bokhar $100, and then didn't want to take a penny for the job. After he gave up $6,000 of the job that he lost, and the Olympics goes off to the Mice of Bokhar. However, I have been in 120 years, and I have been in the world, and I have been in the world, and I have been in the as a given person, I said, oh, the God will have a rabbit and his gabbers and midas in Fashtanian and in sensitivity to Bokhar. It's a person that said, God does, I got to be God does for sir. There's no one who said, I heard from a young man, a shwager, his shwager was 50 years ago, and a shwager is a tzabrach and a bokhar, he was a yasin from a young age. That's a bracha of bracha, and the mother remarried. And the bracha doesn't get along with the, with the mother since she remarried. Oh, she can gelt. And he walked into a place to buy something to eat in Lakewood one day, and he had $20 for his name. 
Kansvi was put there when he walked in. And he knew the bocher a little bit from around. And he shot stuff right away to Matzah. He tells the bocher, it's on me. Buy whatever you want, I'll pay for it. So this, this young man who told me the mice, so the Mashoka told me, he says, the first time anyone looked at me, anyone thought about me, was Chansi Katz. No one ever cared about me. The first person. In Rashi state, by Marisha Bengu, state the Vayet Salach of Ayabas and Loisam. So Rashi says, No son, Enoi, Veliboy, Lias Mainzim is awesome. And the belt uh, skims over the Rashi. Rashi of the Tzvei Zachim. To look out for Yanim and to, to be made with Yanim means two things. You need No son, Enoi, Veliboy. Number one, you have to have the Simas Ayan to look out for it, to have the perception of what's felt Yanim. Knock them the hearts. I'm not the, the hearts on the Simus Irons, you're not going to have a soft <coughs> yellow. And I'm not the Simus Iron on the hearts, you're not going to do for you. So it's very Zachem. We had the heart, debate the Zachem, to pick up right away what's felt yellow. I look cooking, I took broken, I could get it. Who had not got trust in someone, was an episode is felt. And the Simus Lave on the hearts. For Oplan from them, I thought my voice was not here in the Kudu. The world knew him in the last two years as a singer. It was much later than saying, he had to mention Yeshiva. And the man, if I'm sure, was very close. I have lost this for years, his room for years. He says, the world's not a toys. He says, you're to come see me in the Bishmatish. Shlog is a chalem. And he says, I'm not a Bishmatish. He grabbed the music on the side. The world's toys, like the Mimetas. He went up all kish and the floor. He was on the tunnel land and he was pushing the Yeshiva. He was... I'm here from the Yeshiva, the guy who was one was to Brock and said, he was the, 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 the Bishra Besser, as a Shriver, wrote a few books, a famous, uh, he was very close to him. He told me, he says, he was the mentor of the whole Ayyam Yeshiva. He said, oh, he was the most, he was the most, he was the most, he was the most, and, 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 and by essence, his 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 essence, I'm serious. I'm very good. I'm not very good. I'm not very good. I'm a bit of uplearn from from the drachim. We don't send the rest of the schools. Number one, they have their leches. A bit of a bit of you know what it means. We call masters and by us. We put epis. So the like that was by women with them to be master. They have their leches. A bit of keneton. Have flogged some ice and with keneton and schwitzen with them. That's the only thing I'm not good. The second thing, the simus ayin, the simus leib. I'm very good. So. I think these are the two things. Lidosh, to be doish means to seek, to look. Lidosh, to be And then, Velishkeit ba malnafshe, to harv and the hearts. And for those who have been here, Velishkeit ba malnafshe, to harv and the hearts. Those who have been here, Velishkeit ba malnafshe, to harv and the hearts. Those who have been here, Velishkeit ba malnafshe, to harv and the hearts. And Dina Kude, to a bit of a mer, to harv and the hearts. Those who have been here, to harv and the hearts. To be able to, to, to look out for felt yanim, and that's all the hearts of oyster fear. I'm not getting to be very good at that message, I'm not supposed to be